And one of the time, most of the time, people always forget when they see me in a social t-shirts like this, they think I'm a social reformer, but absolutely not. I, before I start doing this, helping becoming a social innovator, I have a long career of being a CIO, Chief Information Officer, or, or IT Director, Group IT Director. I have achieved that role in my career, which is tough of any IT, any organizations, any corporation, the highest role in IT is that. So I achieved that, and then I'm also doing for helping other people. So this is very important, right? So there's a lot of people trying to be an influencer, they're making a lot of video, trying to do you know, a digital space, um, trying to connect with the people. But there is a core difference between me and them. Because those other people, let's say under 25 or under 35, uh, under 30, and they just want to do this one for the living. They just do it because they are a, an entrepreneur. They're an entrepreneur and they want to do that speaking, influencing, and wanted to build their personal branding or they want to build their uh, online uh, um, incomes or they want to build their startups and so on. But I have a significant difference with them because I'm never an entrepreneur. People think that I'm a corporate person, but am I a social entrepreneur? I'm saying, no, definitely not. I'm not a social entrepreneur. I'm a social innovator. I create the space for other entrepreneurs so they can be successful and go ahead and make more bigger positive impact. And one of the time, most of the time, people always forget when they see me in a social t-shirts like this, they think I'm a social reformer, but absolutely not. I, before I start doing this, helping becoming a social innovator, I have a long career of being a CIO, Chief Information Officer or, or IT Director, Group IT Director. I have achieved that role in my career, which is tough of any IT, any organizations, any corporation, the highest role in IT is that. So I achieved that, and then I'm also doing for helping other people. So the ultimate purpose of what I do as a social innovator is absolutely helping other people. It's nothing about I want to get back, I want to give back to the people. So, and as I wanted to, I wanted to go to the top as, our, as fast as possible, so it required me to work hard, very hard, every day, and I did it. I did it since I'm a student, I, 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 I go to overseas, I went to different co countries to work, learn, um, and I always invested on myself. This is one of the things I shared uh, in the Ray's channel today. One of the biggest decision, good decisions I have made in my life is about investing on myself. I always investing on myself, and that makes me today as, as, as one of the youngest CIO or group IT director of, of Vietnam. And then I'm, I want to give back to the community. I want to help people like you. I want to help you guys to be successful with your journey. I, want, I really love it. When you said that you want to do something for double of people in IT solutions, I said, I love it. That's amazing. But let's make it happen now. Not just keep it uh, in, in, inside the mind. Let's add you. I want to give you the skill set. I want to give you the mindset. I want to frame your, your idea to a sustainable model and, and make it happen. So I'm not a social entrepreneur. I'm a social innovator. And before I come helping other people, I already built my career to help myself so I can help other people right now. Built myself the career to make myself successful. I earned uh, and saved. Uh, I I did the research to do the uh, VSHR. I, I I I continuously learn, invest in myself to build my knowledge, and I'm still doing it. I'm not stopping. I'm still in the